Do you miss playing Dungeons and Dragons or just have a hard time finding a group in your hometown? By integrating Discord and D&D Beyond, you can create a character from 1st to 15th level and then roleplay 24-7 in our Discord channels while combating monsters, crafting weapons, training new skills, and searching for items across our campaign world. You'll also have the chance to participate in random combat encounters and go on monthly virtual quests. As a community DM, you can run encounters and virtual quests for the community based on monthly modules written by our very own accomplished plot team. Join us. Join us. Check it out. Join the Discord. Join us. Join us. And let's create incredible stories together. money really worth all this? It's not about the credits. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I bet you have. You're not getting the drop on the villains with sounds like that. Your game needs Sirenscape. The Sirenscape online player has a huge library of epic sounds for any situation. Epic games need epic sound. Go to Sirenscape.com to get started today. your customized jersey from mithralarmory.com proud sponsor of champions of the realm seeing maps and line of sight with the characters moving is a game changer literally the mind-blowing tech that's built into it not having to use proprietary things is great because you can have a 3d printer you can make your own stuff you can bring your own things to it and you can still use it with all the stuff you have at home already but make it even better I've literally tried something with this with just like a TV flat with my computer plugged in and it was just like such a hassle hiding the map. You just look at this and it's, it's there. It's very awesome. everybody i'm becca scott and i'm uriah Faber. this is the semi-finals of champions of the realm it's heating up yeah absolutely we're bringing back two combatants from their previous rounds who won their bouts we have satine phoenix's vlania and mark mears bayloth 
What do you think we're gonna see in this wizard bard versus sorcerer matchup? You know, it's gonna be a lot of uh, spells. I think, you know, the overall demeanor of both these competitors is super unique. One is kind of uh, sorcery. The other one is super positive, uh, smiling, but with a confidence. And they've got some nasty arsenals behind them. So it's gonna be a great matchup. I don't know who's gonna win this one. Yeah, I know of one thing. Vlania is not gonna be recruited into any fighting pit, uh, but we'll see what happens <laughs> on the table. Today's combatants brought to you by Sirenscape. I fought three kobolds in a trench coat and it was adorable. And at the end, the kobolds were trying to scratch their way out and it was so cute. I learned a lot. I learned that fear is delicious. Mark, you made it to the semifinals. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't think you would. I did uh, not, so. and and that was before I knew that Evelyn was resistant to all spell damage. Uh, so yeah, last round, keeping away from Evelyn was really my priority. That broom of flying came in handy. So did Thunderstep, and of course, Marmadark. The things that I'm taking into consideration in this next fight is that. I am multi-class, and he is not. And apparently, he's got a puppy. So, yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Going up against a fellow spellcaster, I think, is a little more in Baylot's wheelhouse, so he's going to be a little more comfortable. But of course, his primary concern is poaching the talent from Champions of the Realm to appear in the Black Pit. So that's what we're going to see a lot of, the hard sell. Seeing maps and line of sight with the characters moving is a game changer, literally. The mind-blowing tech that's built into it, not having to use proprietary things, is great because you can have a 3D printer, you can make your own stuff, you can bring your own things to it, and you can still use it with all the stuff you have at home already, but make it even better. I've literally tried something with this with just like a TV flat with my computer plugged in, and it was just like such a hassle hiding the map. You just look at this and it's, it's there. It's very awesome. These walk-ins brought to you by Mithril Armory, the official gear sponsor of Champions of the Realm. Okay, walking in now, we have Vlanya, the Eladrin Bard Wizard. We saw her sh summon that shadow monster yesterday that really helped her out, but now she's not the only spellcaster that can summon a friend. What do you think is going to happen when she's up against Baloth? Yeah, this is a battle of like talents. I feel like both have similar skills which can make for a great fight some of those are the best times some of the best fights that can happen are in those scenarios and i like the way she moves she's she's got a subtleness about her she's she's slick but she's got a confidence behind that smile that uh, is really going to be effective against her uh, opponent today yeah vlania always keeps her cool and i don't know if the same could be said for Bayloth. so let's see what happens here and here he is, the drow sorcerer himself, Bayloth, stepping towards the ring. And like I said, he's uh, very dominant in some ways last last fight, but it was a very close fight. Uh, he did the best with what he could. He's going to have a whole other skill set that he gets to use against Alanya this round. So I'm curious whose sorcery and whose wizard wizardry is going to step up above and, and be dominant. Yeah, I think Bayloth is definitely glad to see another spellcaster on the battlefield versus, you know, a paladin. <laughs> Let's go to the cube with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. This match is brought to you by Will Smith and sponsored by Dungeons and Dragons and Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realm! When the action begins, our Dungeon Master will be Jason Azabedo! This Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Forged Gaming. This is Vlanya. This Eladrin elf is a bard level three, wizard level five, with an AC of 17, plus six to initiative rolls, plus five to dexterity and charisma saving throws, and 38 hit points. This is Bayloth. 
our Dark Elf Drow Sorcerer, level 8. With a low AC of 15, but a powerful 74 hit points, he has a plus 6 to constitution saving throws and plus 7 to charisma saving throws. All right, you know the rules. You find yourselves this time in a dark, dank, cavernous area. Once again, completely enclosed, and the areas that spread or tunnel out from here or any exits, you see that shimmering presence of evocation magic, impenetrable evocation magic. You know, once again, as usual, that the only way to escape the cube is to become the victor of this fight. I'd like you both to please roll initiative real quick. Twelve total. Fourteen. Okay. Vlanya, when we start the action, you will have initiative. Let's get to it. All right. Welcome to round one. Vlanya, your turn. Okay. So, I am going to magic missile at second level. Okay. All right. And the range of magic missile, just for? 120 feet. Yep. Okay, so that is going to be, that's a three, so that's 44. Okay. That's five, six, seven, plus four, so eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay. So that's 11 points of damage as I uh, take out my finger guns and look you dead in the eye and go pew. And I wink, and then... As you cast Magic Missile, with my reaction, I cast Shield. And the Magic Missiles, of course, cannot penetrate a shield. <sighs> well, then I roll my eyes very slowly, like three seconds. And then I'm going to move... Five, ten. I'm going to move here so I can get um, cover. Okay, so you've moved up to get partial cover. Good. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Baloth, you're up. As Baloth's shield stops the magic missiles from striking his person, he yells out, An excellent opening gambit, my dear. And may I say, what an honor to face a bard of your renown. You know, I've already booked Brig Hellclaw for the halftime show at the Black Pits. I think a double act might be in order. We'll talk after the fight. And Baloth will summon Marmadark from the Shadowfell. He, of course, can appear anywhere within 120 feet. He's going to appear right beside Vlanya. A two counter spell. It is not a spell, it is a feature. This is a hound of ill omen, Ah. which I, as a shadow sorcerer, may summon. I still sneeze. Very well. (laughs) (laughs) That is your right. (laughs) And where would you like to place Marmadark? Uh, Marmadark will be right beside her, essentially. And Marmadark will attack. Okay. Uh, that was Baylot's bonus action, by the way, to yep. summon Marmadark. Yep. And Marmadark will go after your turn. That'll be uh, 19 total. Okay. Uh, when he hits. Yeah. Oh, ahead. I don't have cover. So I will say time fractures into different shards in front of you. I have this urge to reroll. Very well. As a reaction. Marmadark feels that urge, and he gives into that urge. This time a 13. Does not hit. Marmadark's jaws snap on empty air. However, Baloth, perched upon his broom of flying, will move uh, 50 feet in this direction. He's going to go up into the air as well, obviously, to clear those. Like all the way out here? Yeah, so he can get li- He wants to stop when he has line of sight on Lanya. Yep, right there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, his bonus action was to summon Marmadark. I believe that one good turn deserves another, and Magic Missile will go off at second level. Uh, so that will be automatic hits, obviously. Mm-hmm. That is 1d4 plus 1. So that'll be 2 points of damage plus 
five points of damage, seven points of damage total. I see the magic missiles coming and I cover my hair. Like, is that all you got? Is that your turn? That is uh, my action, my bonus action, Marmadark has gone, yes. Perfect, all right, that is the end of round one. We'll see you back in round two. Two magic missiles and one hound. An interesting and quick first round. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking how fast that moved. I feel like both these combatants, I mean, we're in the semifinals, so they really know what they're doing. These are the experts, and we're gonna see who gets to that, that final round. It's gonna be uh, interesting next four rounds for sure. This corner cam brought to you by Hero Forge. Build your custom mini today at HeroForge.com. Well, Najim, I think it's going swimmingly so far. I, I do think she's seriously considering my offer to appear at the halftime show at the Black Pits, and a bard of that caliber is hard to come by. She seems to have an ability to control time, though. Will it be on your side, Bela? <laughs> hmm, yes, that could prove somewhat vexing. Perhaps I should uh, damage her as much as possible. Yes, that's probably a sound strategy. So we're in a cave, and he's a drow, and he's got this stinky puppy next to me. A shadow fell puppy, I believe. Don't yeah, know. yeah. So oh, I gotta get away from that thing and hide, but it's so hard to hide when I'm glowing from all these beautiful crystals around me and they just keep reflecting off my beautiful jewelry. Can you befriend it? Throw it a bone? Get it to fight for you? That's a really good idea. All right, welcome to round two. A uh, very interesting first round. Once again, does anybody want to spend hit dice after that round? Yes, please. How many would you like to spend, team? I would like to spend one. Okay. I'd like to spend one. Bill, you didn't take any damage? I did not. Okay. Six, so I have, I'm down one hit point. Okay, all right. And it is your turn. I would like to Misty Step. Wizard versus wizard. Mm. I have to be very careful. He's a wily one. Oh, keep in mind, I'm not a wizard. I'm a sorcerer. All that book learning, yeah, that's not for me. I get by on raw charisma. Ah, oh, that's why it's so unwieldy. Mm, that's why it's so refreshing, I think. I would like to cast Misty Step as my bonus action. Yep. And I will disappear from this hound. And no opportunity attack uh, from Marmadar, mm -mm. of course. I'm going to, let's see, uh, five. And I would like to get partial cover behind these crystals. Okay. Um, I can still see him. Yep. And I would like to, so since that was a bonus action, I believe I can still use a cantrip. And I would like to toll the dead okay. on my dear friend. And um, yeah, so inside of your mind, you hear bom, 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 off a giant taiko drum. That's a wisdom save, DC 14. Wisdom DC 14. That is certainly not a save that I made. Ah, all right, that's 2d8 damage. That is 10 points of damage. Mm, uh, that infernal bell! Uh, it haunts me. It haunts me. It tolls. Uh, it tolls for me. I'm the V. It tolls for me. Very well. In response, uh, Baloth snaps his fingers and points with his thumb. Marmadark will dash over. How far away, how much move does he need to get to Flavia? Yeah. About. Uh, it's, sorry, so it's, uh, uh, which way, does it matter? Which, whatever, He's the gonna take the shortest, way. the shortest, shortest. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Very good, excellent. So he can move, he does not have to dash. Uh, and he will attack. Uh, that is a 22 total. That hits. Very well, so that will be 2d6 plus three. As he bites, that is four plus 
That's five, uh, eight total Oof. of piercing damage. I gotta kick the dog off my leg. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bailoth will move so that, actually he doesn't need line of sight for this because this is a con roll for you. Uh, one good turn, now was that necromantic damage or necrotic damage that I took uh, from the Toll of the Dead? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Yes. One good turn of necromancy deserves another blight. Oh, I hate that one. Now, I will need to move up. I'm going to move up 50 feet, my full move, I think. Yeah. Or I basically need to get within 30. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, that, that's 30 there. Great. Uh, do you want to continue to go? No, I think I like, I like that range. And so blight will go off. This will be a con 15 save. All right, I'm not sure. I think I have a con thing here. Let me see. All right, it's a con save, you say? Con 15. Con 15. 15. 15. Impressive. That is a fail. Very well, you will take all of this necrotic damage then. This will be. 39 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> well played! <laughs> and then I crumple to the ground. You're out? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, dear. <laughs> Vlania goes down, uh, that ends the round. I might have put in a little too much pepper on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and that will end round Two, we'll be back with round three in a moment. <laughs> she is knocked out in round two. Now she can spin some of her hit dice in between rounds here, but if that happens again, she might not have hit dice left to spin next time. Oh, I thought for sure that was the end of the game. Thank goodness we're gonna get to see a little bit more. This is a great matchup. And uh, honestly, I, I could have, I could have, I feel like it was over at that moment. Oh, it might be over soon. Bayloth definitely has the upper hand here. Yikes. What a round. Welcome to round three. Does anybody want to use hit dice? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, I would like to use hit dice. How many would you like to use? Okay, so I think I'm gonna use three. Yeah, I'm gonna use three. Can I pick, and then if I need more, can I use more? Yeah, so yeah, you can, you can roll one at a time if you want, see how you okay, do, and then. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's eleven, and then I'll use one more of my d6. Oh man, that's mm -hmm. one. Shoot. Okay, so I have one hit dice left, I believe. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have three more. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm gonna use one more. Two. Okay. Well, it might be what I need. All right. Okay. All right. And none for you? No, I have not no, taken damage. You're fine. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. No, I have. I've got yes, 10. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah, I'm going to I'm going to use a, a hit dice. Get a little bit back. Uh, so, Game Master. Yes. I uh, Do I call counterspell before the damage? For the damage okay. after the after the attack. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Valania, it is your turn. I would like to toll the dead again. That is a wisdom save DC 14. DC 14 wisdom. Nope, do not make that. All right. That is another 2d8. Oh my goodness. That is two points of damage. <laughs> mm. oh. Well, that does sting, but I think I'm a little more used to it than I was before. All right, so. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay. Marmadark will run over, continuing to harry like the hound of ill omen that he is. Uh, how much movement does he need to get back up the side? Yeah, so he's gonna need to get all the way up here. Again, mm -hmm. it's double movement to climb, or half movement. Mm -hmm. um, so if he dashes, he has 100 feet available to him. Yeah, so he'll, he may have to dash, but we'll see. Um, well, you let me know which way he wants to go. I don't want to... Uh, he'll take the most, the shortest, most efficient route. Okay, so I imagine it's here. So we'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, um, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, puts him, 45, 50 puts him beside one. Very well, then he will attack. 50 is his movement? 50 is his movement. Okay. 
18 plus five, 23. I'm time fractures again. Marmaduke, Marmaduke looks confused that this is happening again. He's still, he's just a, he's just a great Dane, uh, made of shadow. Let's see if he can do it again. Uh, 21 total. Oh, got me. All right, I'm so like trying to, to kick this dog away from me and it gets a good grip and I'm just yeah, he, it's like a very friendly Great Dane, which causes damage just by saying hello. So, would you get it to stop licking me? It's burning. I'm saying, he thinks he's people. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So that will be three plus three plus three nine points of piercing damage. All right. Whew. I don't like this dog of yours. Oh, he takes some getting used to. Uh, Bayloth is going to cast another second level magic missile. Okay. That's one, two points of damage plus another uh, five points of damage. So seven points of damage total. You know, I really don't like the way you do the things that you do. <laughs> oh, and you're out again? Out again. <laughs> Vanya goes out for a second round. That is two out of three for a potential TKO. That is the end of the round. We'll be right back. Get to your corners. <laughs> Najim, I have to say, I much prefer dominating the battlefield to barely escaping with my skin. Yes, this is much more my speed. Bailoff, how long have we known each other? Oh, centuries, I think. How much do you trust me? Mm, let's see. Uh, I could throw you fairly far if I used a spell, so yes, I trust you quite a bit. Then do me a favor. Willingly take a spell to your face and I'll make you the happiest drow ever. Hmm, this sounds like a trap. Who knows? Hmm. Counter spells in I should have used the counter spell. Counter spells in portals. Yeah, and that dog keeps chasing me. But? In Salvata, you'll have a warm bath and a feast upon your return. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, you have a revivify ready, right? Of course. Oh, and you. you have an entire city. That is true. That is true. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I've got one more trick up my sleeve. All right, welcome to round four. Currently, Vlania has two knockouts. A third mm. knockout will result in a TKO or a technical knockout, and the fight will end. Lania, you still have a chance. It is your turn. All right, I'm gonna spin my hit dice. That is five, so I'm up five. Okay. Okay, this dog is just so annoying. I am going to look down at it and reach my hand up from the ether. It will be pulled some earth. I'm going to Maximilian's Earth and Grasp upon the dog. And that is going to be a strength save DC 14. Mm -hmm. the dog. A uh, question, uh, would I, if I wish to counterspell, would I be able to see if Marmadark makes the save anyway? Or would I need to counterspell it before? Um, you'd have to counterspell it before. That is what happens. Bayloth snaps his fingers and a ripple goes out through the weave, disrupting your spell before it can take place. Okay, okay. In that case. Hmm. As he does this, Bailout says, my dog doesn't like to be touched. Then I'm going to So that was my action, okay. It's been a pleasure playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, indeed, the pleasure really is all mine, I, I assure know. you. All right, so. But uh, we should discuss that appearance at the Black Pits. Um, uh, never. Oh, really, but yeah, no, the green just... room is amazing. You should see our deli tray. Oh my gods, I would never. Um, and I will, uh, there's not quite much I can do. So I will sing a tune and I, yeah, I'm going to just hold my, my stance and, and kind of bear whatever comes next. Okay. 
Well, what's coming next is something that's worked before, and I'm nothing if not consistent. Magic Missile at second level. Counterspell. Hmm. Well, I, I see two can play at this game. And Marmadark will make his attack. Can you see that? Is it so? Yep, two. Two, that is a miss. Unless you have an armor class of seven. Ooh, <laughs> Wonderful. The offer is still open, by no, the way. No, never. Uh, really? Yeah, no, Brig, I only played. Brig Hellclaw is playing. He seems very pleased with the green room and all the amenities. Did you have to like cast a spell on him? No, I just made him an offer. He doesn't have an agent. Or a soul. We've got to get him back that soul. Oh, he's soulless. Oh, that's a bonus. I believe that is all my actions. I have ca used my action, and Marmadark has cast. I am done. That is the end of round four. Vlani has survived another round. We will be into <laughs> round five. Today's players are wielding the Lost Odyssey Iron Legacy Collection dice sets, including a Hellforged Axe guitar case. Get your collector set at dogmite.com slash iron legacy. I must admit, Najim, I am stumped. How do I convince her to play the Black Pits? It would be a real feather in my cap to have a bard of her renown. Well, you never took a spell to your face, so not much can be done to convince her. Please, Najim, this face is my fortune. I'm the front man for the Black Pits. I've got to keep myself looking sharp. Then so we can go back as quickly as possible, rip her hair out, and make me a braided necklace. I would like to go home now. Najim, you're a good deal more bloodthirsty than before. I like it. Hmm, I blame the Underdark. As a band manager, I just cannot um, play at his venue. This is true, but Brig Helpful? He's playing in the Dark Pits? What? Yes, I think he's trying to, he's saying that just to manipulate and trying to get under my or skin. Or is Brig infiltrating the pits? What? Why would he ever Oh do yes, that? he is one of my spies, so he probably is infiltrating. It's probably all a ruse and a lie. You have to have words with Brig. Mm. I, I don't understand. <laughs> well, here I think it's just good to remember that you know, I have developed an entire spy network. I don't often get my fingers dirty in this kind of um, combat. I'm impressed. All right, fifth and final round. No more hit dice to be spent on this side? No. You did not sustain any damage last time? I didn't, but I am down a little bit, so I'm going to, I'm going to spend two. Four, two, so that's up six. Uh, that I, I'm actually back up to full. Okay. All right, it is your turn, Vlania. So, I'm not quite sure how this works. Can I get to here with a misty step? Um, you can't be on top of there. It, it's more of, a, so these of, are of just, an obstruction. Yeah. That's more of a disruption. This is not. You can get to here if you wanted to. I can with misty step? Yeah. Uh, how, how far is the 30, 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, you can't. All right, can I get to here? Uh, is it 5? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, hang on. Sorry, let me take a look. You would get here as far okay. as there. All right, well. I close my eyes. I can feel that dog's breath behind me and I just shake my head like, and um, from my forehead, uh, shards of glass come out and start to float. And I'm going to cast Shatter. And um, the shards of glass shoot towards uh, my opponent. And then <laughs> Shatter. OK. All right. That's what would happen if, yeah, if I, I did not counterspell. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I'm no dummy. I'm not, I'm, I, I don't like those shards of glass, they look pointy. Exactly. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. And then I kind of chuckle a little bit to myself as the shards fall to the ground. Very well. Uh, Marmadark is still there, so he will make an attack. Is it 
plus five, 18, no, sorry, 20, dirty 20. That hits. Very well, it'll be 2d4, so that is six, or sorry, 2d6, so six plus three, oh. nine oh. plus three, 12 points of damage. It was nice knowing you, I'll see you in Salvata. Oh, Marmadark, you've robbed me of my kill. Well, I think it goes in my tally anyway. But uh, don't eat her. Don't eat her. We're, uh, we're going to make sure she's returned to the pink of health. And uh, then maybe we'll send her a nice cookie bouquet with a, with a lovely invitation to the, the, the Black Pits. Uh, hmm, let's see. Uh, what, else, what else do musicians like? Oh, uh, uh, green candies in a bowl. That'll be in her dressing room. We'll see if we can do. Marmadark like rummages through my cloak a little bit and finds like a little tag, like a little bracelet of the different charms. And one of them reads, um, do not feed sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, do, we, uh, do, we, do we know any vegan chefs? Uh, yeah, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. I think this one counts as a win. And that is the end of round five. Let's go to a result. This result brought to you by Noble Knight Games. Buy, sell, Trade your tabletop collectibles at noblenight.com. Wow, what an amazing bout we just saw. Uh, Vlania had a really tough time trying to cut through those counter spells left and right from Bayloth. Uh, what do you think of this fight? I mean, it was pretty one-sided. And, you know, props for Vlania staying in the fight, but at the end of the day, she was tail tucked behind her legs, uh, running the whole time. Great attitude. She almost got some work out of it, but I think she's going to probably pass on the work and go back to the drawing board for the next battle. Yeah, the hard part is Vlania is built to fight with melee characters uh, and being able to stay at range and cast those spells, and that just didn't work against a powerful sorcerer. I mean, wizardry, sorcery, spells, it was all there, and one person was just a step ahead. So congratulations to Baylith. Well, uh, of course, we have to go to the official crowning before we know for sure, but given that we saw some knockouts, I think we already know. But let's go see the official result. After five rounds of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition combat, the fight comes to an end via TKO for your winner and moving to the finals, Bayloth. Ah, yes, most gratifying indeed. But my victory won't be complete unless I can sign Vlanya. Vlanya, have I mentioned the Black Pits is a paying gig? Mm, Quite lucrative. I, I, have, I, have, I have something else I'm, to do. I, I literally need to I, wash I did, my hair. I, I did drop this Greg Hellclaw's name. It's real dainky. It's, it's gross ugh, in here. Okay. I got I'll, it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll have your people uh, call my people. No. Hmm. Post-fight interviews brought to you by Chad Rowe Tattoos. Satine Phoenix, yes. you played Vlanya beautifully. She may not have won this small battle, but she will always win the war. How are you feeling? I feel great. Vlanya is a band manager. She is a spy mistress. She has literal squadrons of spies to do things like this. But it was very invigorating. It made me realize, you know, all the, the grunt work that these uh, people that have to do combat, yes. um, that they, they go through. So it gives me a new perspective. Absolutely, always good to appreciate those <laughs> minions that do the fighting for you. Is there anything that you would have done differently in this matchup, or was it, it just a really tough matchup? So I was thinking about the counterspell. I could have counterspelled, but even so, I still would have lost the subsequent rounds. Because that, that one, you know, that brought me down. But yeah, he got, all those hits on me, and that damn dog. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, you know, your, your cat-like ferocity up against that hound, uh, it, hey, just not in the cards, but um, what is Vlania off to do in, next in this world? I think she's going to Salvata to get a manicure and wash all of that musk out of her hair. Absolutely, well, she will be singing on elsewhere. Thanks so much, Satine. Thanks. Mark, congratulations, I mean, everything hit, casting spells, offering jobs, you did it all, that fight. Uh, what was your overall feeling about the fight today? Uh, well, I was very glad that I was able to get that spell in without it being counterspelled, because that, that might have changed the entire affair. But I really think that Marmadark is what gave me an advantage. The fact that he is not summoned by a spell, he's summoned by a special ability, meant that he couldn't be counterspelled, and he stayed in her face for the entire fight. So that really gave me an advantage. Yeah, if you look back to the tournament, she got a little bit of her own medicine. In the earlier rounds, she summoned someone to help her out. This time, 
you had the upper hand. Congratulations, and Thanks, how are you feeling about going into the finals? I'm looking forward to it. We'll see who I'm up against, but I can guarantee Bayloth will try to get them to appear at the Black Pits as well. He's always, he's always thinking about his business. He's an entrepreneur. What an entrepreneur. We appreciate that. Tournament update brought to you by Satine's Quest. Sign up for your ultimate RPG vacation experience at satinesquest.com. We'll see you next week for our championship final. Mark Mears, Bayloth versus Nora Ibrahim's Esmeralda.